Hello to you all. Just saying, a cotton camper here. Um, just to let you know, and we all know this now, there is a light at that end of that horrible tunnel. Covid is hopefully diminishing, and by June we are being told by the government that all restrictions will be over. All restrictions. Having said that, I believe, and again I'm hoping that I understand what the government is saying, we should be able to get out there do a bit of wild camping from April the 12th. Yep, I said it, April the 12th. That's less than a month away, guys. I'm therefore going to start planning some trips myself. I can't wait. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. And most importantly now, I've got to firstly congratulate David Cook. David Cook, the winner of our competition, to name the mystery animal in my last video. David correctly answered a vulture. Well done mate. The goods are on the way. Well in fact I know you've got them um, and I hope you get some good fun out of it. Now don't forget guys subscribe to my channel and uh, watch out some future competitions. Anyway this episode I'm going to talk about some of my budget knives and I'll talk about the, these particular ones which are illegal. They're illegal to carry on person unless of course you're using it for a specific purpose to do with your work or indeed going to be using it in your wild camp adventure for wood cutting, feathering wood, making the tent pegs or even sculpting if you do that particular pastime whilst camping. Uh, you might even be using it for outdoor colouring pur purposes, you know, preparing meat or what have you. Then, when that's done and dusted, I'm going to show you a selection of legal knives that's this little lot here that the powers that be allow us to carry and I guess expect us to use it in our wild camping pursuits. Ooh, uh, misses. I will say here, yes, obviously it's true, we can use them um, for some of the smaller chores, but certainly not for those big jobs that require the use of fixed blade tools. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that with all that political razzmatazz because uh, I will go into one and uh, I mean, you don't want me to see that on, on, on YouTube. But anyway, don't go away. Let's have a look at these knives. See you in a minute. Right, we'll start with this little baby here. The Maracniv 840MG Carbon Steel Blade. Now normally I would only recommend a knife fitted with a full tang blade but basically for those of you new to the knife scene a full tang means that the blade fits the entire length of the handle and can be seen here at the top of the knife just around here. Um, this is a feature seen on many a top market knife but I think you'll find you would certainly have to pay more for a full tang knife. However this is lacking on this particular knife model the tang on this blade doesn't run all the way along the handle, but you can trust me when I tell you that it certainly doesn't have an adverse effect on its handling. In fact, although as cheap as they are, all of the Mora knives are of a very good quality. They are exceptionally strong and will probably last most of us a lifetime. There's a couple of versions of this blade. Um, there's the stainless steel version, which is an 860mg, and there's the carbon steel version, which is this one, uh, which is the 840mg. They both have their pros and cons, but the cons are not something worth worrying about too much. The handle on this particular version I'm reviewing here is green and black with its little logo there. There are other colours available. The handles themselves have a non-slip rubberized grip, which some of you will probably not like, but they do seem to work very well. They're strong and they're extremely comfortable. The sheath itself is not the best. And personally, I don't like composite sheaths. sheaths. This is like, it's like a plastic. In fact, I despise the bloody things. If it were not for the fact that this knife in particular was pretty good, I probably would not have bought this. 
Also, I'm waiting for a delivery of some lovely material. So I'm going to be designing, making and replacing the sheath with a leather one, which hopefully will be another video at a later date. So for me, it's not a feature I would rely on, but at the end of the day, if you think about what you're paying for this knife alone, it's well worth the purchase. The blade, this is the important bit, the blade of this tool is this model. It houses a carbon steel blade. The edge is really, really sharp. In fact, it was sharp from when you got it out of the package. Something you don't expect of a knife in this price range. The blade in this model, uh, the blades themselves, they're easily sharpened. They're robust and they're suitable for multi duties, really. So to conclude, and I need to conclude on this knife because I said too much already. I will say that for the money, this is a superb, absolutely superb knife. But as mentioned earlier, I really don't like the sheath. But then again, if it was a leather sheath, it would probably cost more. However, uh, you should bear in mind there is simply nothing on the market which even comes close at this price. So if you're a beginner or have a limited budget, then the Mora 840 or the 860MG is the best choice out there for you. Expect, expect to pay between 15 and 20 quid. You can find more details in my description on the video. The Mora. Okay, next one, guys and girls, is this Anglo Arms hunting knife. This knife is stunningly finished. It's in a class of its own, really. Um, it's classed as a Bowie survival knife. And it's got an amazing, amazing, ultra-sharp stainless steel blade. And it's a full tang with a very attractive wooden handle. Look at this. Look. The knife is truly well finished with the handle having a built-in steel guard at one end and a paracord or lanyard mount at the other. The knife feels great in your hand, it's well balanced and I found that it's ideal for use in wet conditions. A rather good safety factor is the extra long hand guard which ensures your hand does not slip down onto the blade. When I bought this it was supplied in this well-made full length durable sheath with a sewn in belt hoop which in all seriousness isn't that bad and quite frankly works admirably well but this is another one of my knives which has earned itself a new home so when my leather arrives a newly designed sheath will be soon making its way to its new host anyway with a specification of a 147 mil stainless steel blade and a built in 50 mil saw back and a complete sheath I would say that this extremely low budget knife and you wait till you hear the price is superb value for money and you can expect to pay wait for it 15 to 20 pounds for this knife again for more details um, have a look at the descriptions on my uh, YouTube page the Anglo Arms Bowie knife. Okay, the next knife is this little beauty here. This is the Whitby sheath knife. Model number HK1201. This is one of the Whitby knives who are a British manufacturer. Um, and one of their best budget bush, bushcraft knives that you can find. It has a full tang, 4mm thick stainless steel braid, a rather beautifully riveted wooden handle, which, as you can see, contours to your fingers and offers you a real comfortable, secure grip. I think, to be perfectly honest, this is by far my most favourite of my budget knives. Not only did it cost less than 20 quid, but with postage free. And if I remember correctly, it came 
together with this leather sheath system. It's, this leather sheath has been extremely well made and well, yeah, what can I say, I just love it. The whole package, it's lovely. It's a lovely knife. Whitby offers some superb knives, both top and low budget end of the market. But not only that, as I mentioned earlier, it's a British company and I do like supporting trade in this country wherever possible. And I would certainly look at purchasing another knife from them. Their details can be found in my description at the bottom of the page. So I can seriously recommend a look at their stock on the website. Check it out guys. The Whitby beautiful stealth knife. Okay, last of the illegal little bunnies here. This is the Camulus Mask. This particular knife makes for an exceptional general purpose all round knife. The fixed blade knife from Camulus is reliable, it's quality made and it's fitted with a four inch drop blade that has an overall length head to toe of nine inches which including the handle of course. The blade is constructed from 332nd inch titanium bonded cutlery grade 420 stainless steel and to give the blade longevity Camulus have thought this through very carefully and have through harden the blade to hold its edge. The knife has a built in lanyard hole for those of you that like lanyards again and the knife comes with a really nice fitting black nylon sheath. The handle is well comfortable and with a really neat pattern. For the money and, and believe me this is very very cheap this is a high quality budget bushcraft knife that I would recommend without hesitation to those new to wild camping. You can expect to pay about 18 quid for this beauty, but again, details on where to buy can be found in my descriptions on my YouTube page. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it for the fixed blade variety of bushcraft knives, budget bushcraft knives that I hold in my collection. The serious knives will be subject of another video. Okay. Right, so as I said, that's uh, all the spiel on the UK legal stuff. Now, um, let's get down and look at the blades that the UK does allow us to uh, budding people to carry um, and use. And again, as I said before, don't get me wrong, I do like some of this gear I'm about to show you because all knives have their uses but for most of the wild camping knife requirements the following knives are really not that practical so without further ado let's have a look and see what we've got for you okay let's get down to this nitty gritty stuff here the little bits and pieces that we've got the first knife that we're going to look at is the true utility pocket knife now if you made a little uh, sheath for this it would make a great hanger. Um, this little, this lovely little knife, it's a, it's a tough enough pocket knife that doesn't compromise on anything really. It's got a nice mahogany wood handle both sides. It's got fine blasted stainless steel knife folding blade that I can honestly say has a quality like no other. Superb. As you can see here the blade folds easily in and out of the frame and when it's out of this frame the blade locks into place and can be easily returned to the frame simply by pressing somewhere and folding it back in. It's got an integrated um, belt pocket clip and basically it's just it's a convenient carrying small little knife. Anyway, to sum up, this is a great little pocket knife uh, and I'd use it possibly for doing a bit of fine detail carving and for around 12 quid it really is a most affordable option. But I can't say it's uh, got any other practical use, um, maybe chopping a few little bits of twigs and what have you, but nice knife. It is a nice knife. I might make a leather sheath for that. 
we will have to see. Okay, in fact I might make a leather neck sheath for it, that would, that, that would truly suit it, and leave the blade out, like that, so it just fits straight into the neck sheath. How nice is that? Okay, so let's go on to our next baby. Right, okay peeps, I'm going to get this one out of the way because this really is a cheapo, cheapo, cheapo. In fact, I think it was a freebie. This is the Rolson multi-function knife. There's not really a lot to say about this particular knife. It has a multitude of uses. That one there I think is the most important. Um, it's got a saw, a scaler on it, a hook, scissors, slotted screwdriver, bottle opener, a corkscrew, needle, nail file, braddle, a cross point screwdriver and of course the knife and comes complete with a canvas pouch which I have back here. And as many of you know it has its uses, you know like opening a bottle of beer, most important. So that is it, that's the Rolson multifunction knife. So, I don't quite know who makes this knife, it's unknown. Um, I know it's made in China, but that's about it. And it's a, a locking up pocket knife. So as I say, there's not a lot to say about this, mainly because I don't know who made it, other than the fact that it's come from abroad somewhere. It's got a three and a half inch locking blade, which I must say is extremely sharp and could possibly be used for chopping off small twigs. Um, it is also great for using on a ferro rod because sparks galore come off of this if you use that. So uh, that's why it's in my camping bag, that's what I use that for. It's small, it's sharp, and it does have some good uses. And it locks away nicely. So it's quite a nice, quite a nice little knife. Um, as I say, who knows? So if any of you know who makes this knife, you know, let me know. I'll be very interested to find out. The locking unknown Chinese pocket knife. Very nice. About the only one that I think we can find a use for. Okay peeps, that's about it for the gear in my budget arsenal bushcraft knives. As you can see there's some great knives out there. They're really affordable prices. They're not a lot of money. Uh, all of the knives I've shown here I would really recommend. They're all comfortable to hold, can be used for a multitude of tasks and really deserve a place in anyone's bushcraft collection. Details for all of these knives that I've shown you here, um, apart from the Chinese one of course, can be found in the description for this video on my YouTube page. Now if you've enjoyed watching this don't forget to give us the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like notifications on new uploads then please subscribe and tell others about of this new channel. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget lockdown's nearly over. Yeah! So hopefully we will all be out there while camping and bushcrafting to our heart's content. Personally I just can't wait and I guess you can't too. So importantly stay safe everyone. Inoculations can't be far off now for all of us. June looks like it's going to be a month to remember for the right reasons of course and let's hope the weather's great too because you never can tell in our beautiful country. Anyway before I go I'm just going to show you a couple of other items nothing to do with knives that are in my arsenal that I just got. This is a water pouch. Tanner, look at that. Fantastic. One and a half litre water pouch. Like it, I really like that. And this, 15 quid. This is a Baofeng and it, it is a two way communicator. That's if the phone goes down. I will be able to get in touch with someone and that has got from Wish 15 quid with a pouch. Look at that. 
not important because I have most phones are quite um, reliable. Anyway, this is me, Tony, Cockney Camper. I'm going to sign off now. Get rid of my ugly mush on the old uh, YouTube video. Nice to see you all again and uh, as I said earlier, stay safe, keep well and I'll see you soon.